Hi guys, I've actually been asked to talk to y'all a little bit about my time at Sunway University. But before that, I'll just reintroduce myself mm. a little bit. My name is Greg, and I used to study in the Bachelor of Science program in Psychology up until last year when I graduated in July. So now I'll be talking to y'all about my time as a Sunway student. So my most memorable experience as a student was when I went to Lancaster in the UK for a three-week cultural exchange program. Other than that, my student life comprised of typical things like going to rock, uh, staying up late and studying in the library, sleeping in class, as well as organizing events with SSA, which meant uh, lots of meetings and stuff like that, as well as organizing the cultural exchange program with student life. And lastly, I also uh, had to attend cheer practices because I'm also a cheerleader, which I'll elaborate on more later. But for now, I'll continue on and talk about my activities as a Sunway student. So first off is SSA, as you can see. I was in SSA for two years, and when I started, I was an executive of special projects, and the following year, I became the director of special projects. So in my time in SSA, I managed to organize many events, such as uh, Sunrise Got Talent, uh, Edu Candy, um, uh, the first ever MP3 experiment in Malaysia called Sound Plan, as well as the Sign Language Workshop, and uh, help Student Life organize the Jeffrey Chia Foundation Award Scholarship Ceremony and the 30th Anniversary Alumni Dinner. So that's for SSA. Next, I'll be talking about Sunway Cultural Exchange as an ambassador. So as an ambassador, I had to recruit and train the buddies and organize the reading bus program as well as lead the religious day tour around KL. And next would be my time as a cheerleader. So as I mentioned before, I'm actually a professional cheerleader. But uh, so I was actually in the Sunway team for a brief period. Uh, but my main team is actually external to Sunway University. So I'm actually in all-star teams. Uh, and all-star teams are basically independent organizations that compete internationally and locally. I've actually competed in Singapore, Australia, Korea, and Malaysia. Um, and lastly is as a part-time coach. I'm also a part-time cheerleading coach. So that sums up all my activities as a student. And next I'll be continuing on to talk about advice. The most important part for y'all, the advice and survival tips in Sunway. So my first advice to y'all is that Studying by yourself can actually be better than paying attention in class. Because, I mean, that's personal, but that's how I see it. Because if you are able to study by yourself and absorb all that knowledge by yourself, there's no primary need to pay attention in class. But don't tell that to the lecturers. Lah. Okay, uh, next is uh, start early. Make sure you start early for your exams to study because unless you're a genius, you're probably not going to be able to do it within two days or so especially if you have five uh, important units that semester. Next is for assignments. For assignments, I would say that when you, uh, especially for like research-based assignments or reflective essays and experiments and stuff like that, because we're in the science and technology department, uh, when you write your essays, make sure you focus on less points and elaborate more on those points. Because lecturers want to see that you're able to critically think about points instead of surface level discussions of many different points. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, yeah. Next is for group assignments. For group assignments, I would suggest that you all choose your members very wisely because one bad member can ruin your entire grade. So like, if the group assignment is for five people but you're in a group of three with your friends already and you feel like that's better, just go to your lecturer and ask whether you can, um, whether you can just do it as a group of three. And your lecturer will most probably say yes. So I would suggest that you do that. And next is my survival tips right so survival tips um, survival tip number one as a Sunway student or as a student in general is to make sure you have a good support system uh, be it your friends your family or significant other uh, survival tip number two is to uh, make sure you find time to relax and let loose uh, whether you go to a mama and hang out with friends go drinking go clubbing whatever you want to do as long as you let loose it's very important uh, and lastly is to befriend the Sunway students' uh, staff and lecturers because in the future you're going to need their recommendation letters as well as their referrals for a job. So I would suggest that you befriend them and yeah. Uh, and the last part of this video is to talk about what I'm doing now as well as how being a scholar has impacted my decisions. So first off, what I'm doing now. Uh, what I'm doing now is a bit complicated because before COVID-19, I was actually in Team Malaysia for cheerleading where we were supposed to go compete in the United States at the World Cheerleading Championships 
and I was supposed to also go to London this September for my master's in clinical neuropsychiatry at King's College. But because of COVID, I decided to defer, so I'm currently actually unemployed. And what I'm doing now is finding a job. But yeah, so uh, that's what I'm doing now. Uh, and the last part is how being a scholar has affected my decisions. So being a scholar has affected my decisions in terms of time management mostly, because I had to manage my time for social uh, work, studies, as well as uh, family time. So that's how being a scholar has mainly impacted my decisions. But other than that, I would say that um, being a scholar has not really affected my decisions in a life sense, I would say, but it has definitely opened a lot of doors for me in the future. So that's all from me, and I wish all of you the best in your degree or your foundation, and goodbye. <laughs>